the Barclays Premier League. It's the Merseyside derby. The game they call the friendly derby, Everton against Liverpool. So midway through the season and they're top of the table. They need to keep on winning. Can they do that? Let's get straight to Merseyside and Goodison Park then, where I'm delighted to say it's a lovely, clear day and the sun is shining. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Well, we've got Barclays Premier League action for you. I'm Martin Tyler and with me is Alan Smith. Martin, great to be here. Van Dista, he's on the bench and perhaps at this stage of his career phasing himself out of the game at this level has been the talk of retirement well it has been talked Martin but he's still an important player within this squad I think for his leadership quality so it's, it's a bonus to have him back I think to uh, really do themselves justice against this team. Shots on here, he's kept it out. Stephen Jarrett will take the corner. Jordan Henderson. Take the touch from the player to go over the line. Referee oh, oh. is pointed for a corner for Liverpool. That's a clever part of football, isn't it, to backheel the ball like that. Nathaniel Klein. Congratulations to Jeanette Kruger on Pompey. Here's an update for you from Alan McAnally from the bowling ground. It's a goal from Manchester United. 15 minutes played, 1-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Lennon. Lennon's got the capacity to go both sides of the defender. Aruna Kone. Possibilities now for an equaliser from this corner. Rice, well, that's another goal from a player that they brought in for this season. And it was a very wise move, Alan. I think it was. He's uh, done himself justice. He's uh, proved that uh, he was worth all the effort to bring him to the club. An equaliser from Rice. And what a good head of thumping effort to the keeper's right. Well, we're back at level pegging again at 1-1. One, one. Baines. Into the attacking third. Well, he's tried his shot from long range. Well, one or two of the supporters having a go in for taking the shot, but, you know, you, you like to see players taking that responsibility. I think maybe he had a look around and there wasn't too much else on, so he thought, why not? Henderson. Given Alan. Oh, I'm not sure he's got that one right, you know. I think he was on. Coleman. Morales. Gibson. Coleman. 
is setting up well for the cross. In the centre, Lennon. The defender's done well to deal with that cross. To Gibson. Coleman. Good link up. Goes for goal. It's a good chance, wasn't it? Well, that just sums up his form. He's really been in a shocking spell when he can't do anything right, and he couldn't now either with that miss hit shot. Steven Gerrard. That's very well read, and that's a very good interception. And the attack coming now from Everton. Over the top of the bar by some distance. kick against Everton and for the Everton man it's a yellow card here yeah once he didn't get the ball he knew what was coming here is Gerrard and it's back to him again Alan McAnally back at his old stomping ground Villa Park he's got some news for us it's a goal for Aston Villa it's been scored by Fabian Dell he crept in unseen to get on the end of a flick on and steal the ball past the stranded keeper. 42 minutes played, 1 0. Cheers, Alan. Cross <laughs> come out by the defender. Marco Royce. Well, your heart goes out to Marco Royce in the World Cup squad. But then having to pull out through injury. Yeah. Well, he could be in. In with a chance. Yeah, he's gone too early. He's offside. Marco Royce. He's got it away. Leighton Banks. Well, everything to play for in the second half. We've reached half time at 1 1. Half time, and with the second half to come, you just wonder whether anything's going to show between two very evenly matched teams. They're level at the break. Yeah, and we did expect that, didn't we? Looking at the, the respective four. Start of the second half for you. Kevin Morales. Roberto Firmino. Carrying the ball forward. Could be dangerous. What a chance here. Got to be. Not a decisive save. Nathaniel Klein. Marco Royce. Gibson, Kevin Morales, Naismith, Alan McAnally has got a goal to tell us about from the Berlin ground. It's his second goal for Manchester United, it's been scored by Wayne Rooney, he picked the ball up on halfway, turned the closest defender and striding forward beat the covering man for pace before hitting a low shot past the keeper. 54 minutes played, 2-1. Thank you very much, Alan. And it's taken a touch from the player to go over the line. Now that's a corner, Everton's way. Leighton Baines. Challenged quickly by the opposition. an easy save because he was able to plot the path of the ball all the way into his hands Roberto Firmino Nathaniel Klein and the cross is in looking for Royce however the game changes it's always placed for headed clearances like that Kone. 
Everton are going to freshen it up a bit with some action from the bench. Arunakone. Oh, he's totally, totally done the defender. Coutinho. Our good friend Alan McAnally is watching the Tottenham game today at White Hart Lane. Alan. It's a second goal for Arsenal. It's been scored by Giroud. The defence went to sleep and he ran on to a well-weighted pass to slot home. 68 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks, Alan. Henderson. Could get his cross in now. Good header, good clearing header. And this is going to be a throw. Well, when we look back on the game, this will be a key moment. It could work for them, it could work against them, this change. Everton with one eye on the clock. Here's the shot. They're desperate to try and change this game. It's been level and now they're pushing on, looking for the goal that will take them in front. Lukaku. Brilliant opening. Here's the chance. Struck the post here. the attack here well, he's away from his marker now corner given really good defensive header Alan McInally is telling us he's seen a red card at Villa Park Allen it's a red card for the home team they're down to ten men. It's Gary Cahill who's been sent off for going over the top. Eight minutes remain. It remains 2-1. Cheers, Alan. Adam Bellana. What a chance here. Not to be. And there's a score here. And that has significance because they're now into the lead. A goal from Milana, and that's wonderful, wonderful technique to just feather it into the bottom line. And up on the scoreboard here, it says 2-1. Ross Barkley. Still 2-1, time ticking away, not quite to set in stone the result yet. And you think what it's going to mean for their next game, Alan? Well, Liverpool go up against Spurs. And they've certainly done the job out here, and they'll be confident to doing it again in the next one. Here's McCarthy. Baines. Blocked well by the defender. <laughs> Romelu Lukaku. Here's the volley. In with the chance. Marco Royce. Got to be. Oh, he's scored. And what a first season he's having. Yeah, just at the right moment for him. Might be a big goal in this football match. For Liverpool, it's just a case of being organised now. Great time to score and take the lead. Oh, not many come if the arrow. They found the man. Well, no wonder he's... And the referee has blown his whistle for the last time. 